The stock thermistor on the Ender 5 Plus is your typical glass bead thermistor, and I personally despise those things because they break for seemingly no reason 99% of the time when doing maintenance on them. So, we're going to be replacing it with these bolt-type thermistors. These things are absolutely fantastic. They go into the bolt hole on the heater block where the retainer for the glass bead thermistor would normally go. It's basically just a glass bead thermistor that has been encapsulated inside of a brass bolt and held in with a special thermal epoxy. It's much, much stronger and much, much less likely to fail for some random reason. Now, the thing about this uh, thermistor situation on this printer is you got to have yourself an exceptionally long cable to reach from there all the way down and then into the back of the unit here that goes to the front of the unit where the motherboard is located. So I had to fashion myself a special connection onto this here thermistor. Now then, one thing that I've learned the hard way when it comes to thermistors, you cannot solder the connections to extend the wires. The solder will create extra resistance in those wires and it'll, it'll, it'll lead to inaccurate temperature readings. Yeah, found that out the hard way a long time ago. But if you use a type of crimped connection, it shouldn't have that issue, or at least not to the same extreme. So there's the retainer that holds in the stock glass bead thermistor. We're just going to replace that. And once we screw it down into place, that thing ain't going anywhere. Now, while we're in here, we might as well change out the heater cartridge because this is a 40 watt heater cartridge. This is a all metal hot end. We much prefer the 50 watt heater cartridges because it just makes things go that much faster. Okay, we've got the 50 watt heater as well as the bolt thermistor in. We're going to have to change the firmware to reflect these changes. One, this thermistor is a 3950, I believe and the heater needs to be PID tuned. All right, she's all buttoned up here at the top. Just gotta do a little bit of cable management down at the bottom, and we'll be ready to change some settings. Ah, uh, the sound of silence. It's so peaceful compared to the original stock board going wee, 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 wee. Oh, silent boards are so nice. Our little Pikachu print has finished, and it's looking pretty good. Although you might notice some stringing. That's actually not due to the printer, that's the filament. I was hearing some pops as it was being extruded out of the hot end, and that's indicative that the filament has absorbed a little bit of moisture, so I'll have to dehydrate that a little bit. But all in all, I'd say the print looks pretty good. So that's a good indication that we've got everything set up the way we need to. And we can focus on doing some prints that are not from the SD card that comes with the printer.